What is up boys and girls? Today I'm going to show you how to uh, really gain your power spike in Sword of Shadows. So first off, I wanted to start by, uh, by saying do your daily quests. Come in, here to act come in here to activities, do your daily quests. This gives you all kinds of stuff. Uh, this will give you this will give you silver, this will give you auto quest items, this will give you temper hammers. Best of all, this will give you free bound gold that you can use every single day. So come into Jinghao and do these daily quests every day. Make sure that when you run through Endless Dungeon, you come in here every day and you auto loot that twice. Uh, that's going to give you brocades for your cape uh, that you can come down here uh, into your character and you can click on uh, cloak right down here and you can upgrade this however long it takes you to get that many right there so however long it takes you every I believe it's every five levels uh, gives you the opportunity to get brocades from auto from auto looting that so you want to make sure that you're doing that every day um, so come in here go through your daily quests um, you know make sure you go through the Wulin arena uh, to pick up all your stuff there um, do everything that you possibly can uh, make sure that you do your school quests um, and once you have that set you want to come through and you want to try and do your daily dungeons and stuff like that uh, that way you can come into uh, you can come into the shadow and soul tomb uh, and you can get your uh, you can get your companion exp because uh, that'll really help you out. Uh, be able to come into Marshall Palace uh, and do that every day. Uh, gives the opportunity to get some really good items out of that. Um, as well as, uh, you also want to make sure that you stay on top of events. Because events will give you a lot of really good items. Uh, you come into, for one, uh, school practice. Uh, every 10 minutes, um, there's a school practice that happens. Uh, you have two minutes to go in and register. It's really easy. Uh, you go in there. You can kind of uh, set your phone down for a few minutes, and it'll give you uh, it'll give you chi and things like that. And um, it'll give you chi and uh, stuff you can use for your uh, your martial arts, uh, which is really helpful. Which brings me to my next point: make sure that you have both your martial arts. You have both your martial arts, and and your uh, internal skills ticking. Uh, you want to make sure that you kind of find uh, you find a, a martial art that works for you. Um, one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that if you'll see here, I have six or seven that are max level. Um, so what you want to do is this will give you a lot of power just by just by collecting these you know these passive skills. Um, these won't give you the passive themselves, um, but they will give you they will give you passive passive bonuses like right here collected so because it's a higher level because it's let's see what level is it it's level 54 so because it's level 54 and I have it even though it's not active I still get 7900 HP 338 attack and 341 defense so that's just because I have this skill and it's leveled up I'm getting this passive off of it. So I still have the ability to level that up to 70 and make that even higher, make these three numbers even higher. And that gives me those passive abilities. So just simply because I have that, that gives me that, uh, that, gives me that extra strength. Uh, so that'll help you a lot in boosting your power. Um, another thing you wanna do, uh, save up your mounts, save up your mount shards. Uh, one thing right here, doing world bosses, That'll give you a lot of turmeric shards. You can use that to um, you can use that to uh, uh, do the do the world bosses, and it gives you these different bonuses right here, as you see, all right there. That's simply from leveling up, uh, running around, collecting shards, uh, wind chaser, nimbus, nutmeg, all these purple ones. Well, I should say a lot of the purple ones you'll find from doing or killing elite mobs, um, specifically. Um, You'll find them specifically from killing them in the demon realm. Um, so if you go to strange realms, or um, sorry, if you go to events, uh, and you go to, where is it at? Uh, sorry, it's not in events. Um, wait, where did it go? 
Um, maybe it is in Strange Realms. Yes, the Dungeon Realms. Um, so you have the different Dungeon Realms right here, right? So if you go to... Um, let's see, Secret Path Cultivation. So if you go to Secret Path Cultivation, um, right here in Events, click on Secret Path Cultivation right there, and these four are different levels. So this will be like... Uh, this would be level 40 to 45 right there. That's 45 to 50 and so on and so forth. Um, there's, they basically take form of the um, Phoenix Villa, uh, the Icicle Villa, um, and some of the other dungeons that you run, but they're a PvP-based uh, open world that you can run around in um, and kill lots of monsters and get a really high amount of EV XP. Now I suggest if you do run around in there, uh, you come into uh, you come into Jinghao and you actually use your cultivation time, which you do get two hours of free cultivation time every day uh, that you do log in. Um, so, so you can come in here uh, and you can click on Jinghao cultivation, activate an hour or two, and you can kind of leave your phone off to the side and it'll kill stuff, uh, pick up items, uh, and all kinds of really good stuff like that. Um, so what? Another thing that you really want to do that I really can I really suggest doing um, is coming in here and spending a dollar. Uh, it's really really worth it, you know. Um, it's really worth it to spend this one dollar uh, and pick yourself up a gourd, um, which I'll show you right here. Just just come in here, you know. All you need is one dollar, and you get a top up package, uh, and that gives you this uh, this gourd, which is right here. I'll show you. Uh, well, not this one. This one's this one's the upgraded version, but it'll give you a gourd that you can, uh, an extra piece of equipment that you can uh, refine, forge, temper, and everything. Even infuse it. You can do everything to this piece of equipment that you can do to any other piece, uh, which is really, really, really helpful. And it only costs a dollar or whatever your currency may be. It's a very, very small amount. Um, it's very, very worth it for whatever you might have. Um, Another thing is uh, you want to come over here and you want to come to your PvP tab. Uh, you want to jump into Sky Arena every day uh, and you want to try and get 8 wins. If you can get 8 wins in Sky Arena, which isn't too hard, um, if you can get 8 wins, um, you get 20 free uh, these martial arts pages that are, uh, that are right down here uh, as well as some, green, uh, some of the green pills for your um, internal skills. So... With that, you want to uh, you want to make sure you have that so you can come into uh, you can come into martial arts. Uh, you can click on comprehension; will take you to this tab too, uh, as well as in the Wulin Arena, it's exchange. Uh, but you can come in here, and there's a different a couple different pages you can pick from. Um, I actually use this method to uh, pick up my. I actually use this method to pick up my drunken my drunken immortal pages. Uh, and save that up. Now there is a daily limit to it, um, but it, this is an easy way to pick up pages and upgrade your skills uh, and stuff like that. Uh, there's also chivalry here, which does which does uh, give you different stuff. These uh, red drum shard, uh, the jade flute, and lotus pendant are uh, just visuals. Um, but you can come in here and pick up cultivation, uh, silver, chi, and as you can see, they all cost different amounts. Uh, and you can get you can get chivalry from either uh, helping somebody do a uh, story quest that you've already gotten an A an A on. Uh, you get five from every time that you uh, help somebody do one of those, or if you end up leading, uh, if you come in you come in you end up leading um, leading a, a wanted uh, the wanted quest. Uh, you get two for every boss that you kill, and you could do fifty daily. Um, or so you can get a lot out of that um, so you can also come to PvP here uh, and I'm actually going to tell you about uh, about this little trick that I learned in a second uh, since I haven't really ever seen many people doing the supremacy thing it's kind of hard uh, to generate these these tokens right here the honor tokens um, so basically by doing all your daily quests uh, you get that 50 free gold and everything like that so you can come in here, uh, I'll show you right here. You can come into uh, bonuses right here, right? 
and you can click on retrieval. This is even the menu that pops up right when you first log in. And if you scroll down to supremacy right here, all you have to do, it costs 25 bound gold to do it, and you get a you get 100 supremacy tabs and a little bit of uh, silver there. You can also do it through regular silver, but it only gives you, I believe, it's 70%, so you won't get quite as much. Um, so I suggest doing that, um, and then you can come down back over here to your martial arts tab or to your, uh, you know, Wulin Arena and the exchange. Um, you click on your PVP tab, and you can actually come here, and you can buy, uh, you can buy up to five of each of these. Um, now, since you only get a hundred, you can get a hundred daily, so you can basically pick four of them, uh, and you can buy four of them every day. Or you can come here. Uh, and you can buy an internal gem pack that gives you uh, different treasure shards and stuff like that, which is also useful. Uh, there's also prestige, which you'll get from uh, you'll get from doing the sky arena, uh, and you can use those to buy you know internal pills or temper hammers. Um, you have your reputation, of course, which you get from uh, which you get from doing the Wulin arena, uh, and then you have chaos war uh, from doing the world tours and stuff like that. Um, there's also the Martial Glory, which is also a little newer, uh, which is also from World Tour. Now, as you can see, I do have a, I do have a good handful of, uh, of skills here, different martial arts. Uh, some of them are a little bit harder than others, but uh, they're, definitely, uh, they're definitely fun to try and get those all set up and uh, to see what you can make of it. Um, as you can tell, I, I prefer using the Drunken Immortal because that's a personal preference of my own. Um, so, as you can see, I'm actually doing the Jinghao Legend quest right now, uh, just kind of running around and doing that. Um, so, from all that being said, I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to show you uh, what you can do with those, uh, those equipments that I was just showing you. Now, here's your, uh, here's your strength and tab. Um, so, here, you can basically come through and you can from through your daily quest from killing monsters uh, from doing dailies uh, you can get the forge stones um, and also from doing uh, doing the auto quest uh, which I'll show you that in a second um, but here you come through you know make sure that you try and do this as much as possible um, but eventually at certain levels you're gonna come into a block like right here uh, I need 10 level 6 obsidians uh, which I'll show you that in a second as well. So this is where, uh, in Enhance, where I was telling you to go to to get the uh, to get those items to the supremacy. Uh, you'll be able to come up here and uh, get lots and lots of upgrades really quickly through doing that daily, and it's all free because you get the 50 free gold from doing your activities uh, and stuff like that. So it's all, it's very easy to get this, um, very easy to continue upgrading, uh, and it's really nice to see that come together. Uh, you also have your infuse. Make sure you try and stay up on that. Um, personally, once it hits below fifty percent, I try and start using uh, start using the safety runes, uh, just because I don't want to lose too many uh, too many levels of power and stuff like that. Um, which you can actually get those from doing uh, from that tab that we were just in. Um, you can get those from the, the I believe it's chival in the chivalry tab. Uh, as well as right here with the temper hammers. Now with this, um, you'll see different stuff like uh, you'll see here. I have on this uh, on this left side here. Uh, it's focused around defense. Um, so a lot of the stuff you'll get is defense focused, like uh, damage reduction from certain weapons types. Um, all of them have the availability to get HP. Uh, but as you see, you know crit resist. Uh, damage reduction from blade and arm blade, um, parry reduction and stuff like that. And then over on the right side, it's attack fo it's attack focused by default. Uh, so this is where you'll get uh, style damage from your different weapon types. Um, you'll be able to get parry reduction, um, critical hit, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So you basically kind of want to go through and you want to say, okay, like myself, I use Drunken Immortal, so that's uh, you know, so that's an arm blade. That's an arm blade skill. So you'll see here, uh, you'll see here. You know, I focused. I had a lot of arm blade damage things. You want to kind of go through and you want to focus on what you want to do, what you want to get out of these different pieces of gear, um, and you want to kind of 
really focus on that. You know, who's doing the most, or and on the left side, you know, who's doing the most damage to me? Uh, what's what's the stronger class right now? Uh, and kind of focus around that. Like the uh, like the Wu Dang had a very strong um, had a very strong um, blade damage. Uh, so I tried to go around blade or blade damage reduction, uh, as well as the MA had really uh, had re and, you know MA and uh, the MA's default and the um, the gambler's cheap uh, martial art had um, you know had the hidden had the hidden had the hidden blade damage. Uh, so I tried to I tried to heard the hidden weapon damage. So I tried to work around some of that. Um, and you can get all those from you know that tab we were just in. Uh, so that'll really help you. Um, you know so you want to try and do all that. Um, so here's uh, here's another thing. You want to make sure uh, try and join a guild. Um, join a guild because there's all kinds of stuff that you can get into. Uh, they have an entire tab uh, for different. Uh, if you go into uh, if you go into the guild hall, you know you can through donations um, and from doing your daily quest, you can go in there and you can um, you can get bonuses and passives, and that'll really help you out. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're doing that. Um, now another thing is when you do your um, when you do your daily quests, when you do your daily things like that, uh, you run through and you do your dungeons. Uh, you will get pages. Uh, you will get pages of different martial arts. So say um, say you don't really use Devil's Palm page. Uh, so you can come in here and you can sell these things. And it's a really quick and easy way uh, to make some silver that you can come in and you can say, okay, you know, I don't really use the Devil's Palm page, but uh, I use the Fist of the Monkey page. So I can basically sell my Devil's Palm pages, uh, and I can use them to buy a Devil or Fist of the Monkey pages. Or, like we were in before, you can come in here and use those martial art pages to buy the different things, and you can then sell them. Uh, it works very well, uh, and it's a very quick and easy way to make some money to, you know, get the pages you want uh, and be able to do really well um, so that is that so basically there's another thing that you can do uh, I'm gonna show you uh, I'm gonna show you really quick on the story pages so you'll see as I needed um, so you see I needed the um, I needed to do for that one piece of gear I needed level six obsidians uh, now what you'll what you'll come in to do is you see um, you'll need to do auto quest. Um, so this is the auto quest tab right here. Um, you'll be able to see five loot tickets. Uh, you can also do auto loot times ten by checking this socket right here. Uh, really quick and easy uh, way to get, you know, free exp and you get these little bags, which will drop these pieces of gear. Um, now the level one, uh, the level one will drop silk, the level 2 will drop obsidian, and the level 3 will drop ingots. And then the level 4 is just a higher amount of the XP, uh, and it'll also drop, you know, some of the, uh, some of the shards for the brown bell. Um, so you come in here, and you do this, and do your auto loots, and it'll give you that stuff that you can come into, uh, this tab right, it'll come into this tab, uh, right down here. Uh, where you can click on uh, crafting, and you can synthesize these different things. So I needed the level six obsidians, so I can synthesize those uh, to synthesize those, and go all the way up the ladder uh, until I create the amount of level six obsidians that I need, and then you can continue on forging. You can also uh, you can also come into uh, this tab over here, the enhance one. And that's where you'll be able to make the higher level pupil ingots uh, and stuff like that for um, your higher level your higher level gear, and you can combine them in, as well as the you know the upgrade pills for internal skills, and uh, for your different levels of infusion stones as well as safety runes. Um, so disassembly, uh, what I would suggest for level wise, uh, until level fifty, just wear the gear you get. Um, don't worry too much about crafting gear until you get to level 50. Uh, and the only gear that I really even crafted uh, was, you know, was the golden gear. 
uh, the orange set for level 50 and stuff like that. Which even then, um, unless you have a piece of gear that's really behind, I really wouldn't worry too much about it because it 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 takes a little while. Um, it takes a little while to get to level 70, but it's worth it if you kind of hold up and you save your, you know, you save up your origin stones or you know your grand synthesis gems that you get from disassembling uh, pieces of orange gear, uh, as well as being able to get the level 60 and 70 armors and weapon drawings and stuff like that that can allow you to actually make all these things. Um, and uh, like I said, you know, come in here to your school, you know, do the do the donation. Um, Doing your school quest will give you this that you can come in here and get your advancement, different uh, different bonuses, uh, different daily rewards from it. Which all of it, all of it will help you. Um, and uh, do we have anything else? Let's see. Um, it looks like that's gonna be it. Yeah. So just do your daily quests. Uh, make sure you're doing all the. Uh, make sure you're doing as many daily quests as you can. Um, you know, pick up the stuff that you get, and eventually you're gonna have you know a crazy looking backpack. Um, you're gonna have all kinds of stuff that's gonna be uh, left over. You're gonna have you know a million boxes to open up, uh, stuff like that. It's all gonna help you out in the end. Uh, so make sure you're doing all this stuff, um, and it'll really boost your power and be able to be really strong and get up there in power as fast as possible. So until next time, guys, this is a fatal injury. I'll see you again soon.